Hey everybody, we are on our way to Joshua Springs Preserve because I was going to go to an area that I haven't taken y'all to. It's called Government Canyon State Recreation Area, but all of the trails are closed where dogs can go at least. Um, I guess because we had those recent rains and it is an environmentally sensitive area. So those are closed. So we've come up here to Joshua Springs. It's kind of a drive for me. It's probably 35 minutes away, but I feel safe up here as far as, you know, a dog park goes. There's hardly anybody ever up here. And it seems like the people that come up here, they're very aware of their dog's behavior. Unlike the city parks that I found in San Antonio, I just don't, I just don't go there anymore. They're just too dangerous. So anyway, we're coming up here and I'll talk about some of the, maybe some of the updates for the channel, hopefully. I'm gonna roll the windows down in a second. It's right off I-10. It's kind of a strange way to come in here. There we go. They're getting excited. <laughs> I don't think too many people will be out today, but who knows? It's the day of the final two games for the playoffs for the Super Bowl, so I'm not sure too many people will be out here, but you never know. Okay, let's see. We're just going to walk a little bit before we go over to the dog park area. Check the water levels. I cannot believe I had the leashes right, I don't know, in the kitchen, going to the, I swear, going to the car and I don't have them. Good girl. Luckily I have some kind of rope in the car, but this is not ideal. <laughs> Gosh. You think having dogs as long as I've had, I would learn to keep some extra stuff in the car. Oh, this is nice. They have a little library here. That's always nice to see. Here's a map. Oh, all the trails. And this is actually the time you need to be on the lookout for rattlesnakes because you know, it's been cold and rainy, and today it's mid-60s, and it's sunny. So they're going to be coming out to warm up. So we'll be on the lookout. Even after several inches of rain, look how low it still is. That's amazing. Wow. Now we had several inches, I'm sure, just in the past few days. And that front came through, and this is usually all underwater. clear water it's all spring fed well most of it's spring fed you know obviously there's some water flow but oh <laughs> I've been up here with this this is all covered in water Still pretty dry. You can see how clear it is over here. Watch out, Gemma, that's a big drop off. See how clear that is? Gemma, stay over here. Yay! Good boy. Good boy. Ready, Gemma? Good girl! Oh, good girl! Yay! Oh, she goes the other way. She'll go get it, but she goes back to the water bowl. Good girl, Gemma. Good girl. Good girl. I clipped her face a little bit yesterday. But see how you can tell it's time to get clipped because her top knot starts splitting. <laughs> Jupes too. So I'll have to finish her up. She's woolly. There's some other guy here whistling at his dog. You don't want to go walk around? Okay. Oh, Gemma wants me to throw the ball. Gemma, you're cheating. Oh, go get it, Gemma. Oh, 
Gemma. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy, Jupe. Good boy. Good boy. He'll bring it right back. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He cheats. You're cheating. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Ooh. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Oh gosh, someone's coming in. We just had some drama at the dog park. Some guy was driving past in his car and he got out and started yelling at these, this couple over there at the small dog park. And they have three dogs, two of them are little and one of them's kind of a medium. And they said, you know, they've never been to the dog park so we're just gonna stay over here for a little bit, let them get used to it. So I was like, that's probably a good idea, right? That white collie dog is very hyper. So anyway, this guy gets out of his car and he starts yelling, big dogs are over there and little dogs are over here. And I guess the man said, yeah, I know. And he said, and he had his finger out and yelling going, do it. <laughs> I mean, talk about mind your own beeswax. And he doesn't know the situation, which I know all of us kind of do that, but oh my gosh. Anyway, that was kind of, that was kind of crazy. Now that dogs are finally getting tired. But what I was going to tell you is that I finally have a Gmail account for the channel. It's Jennifer, I think it's Jennifer Social 2229 at gmail.com. And I have it in the description of all the videos. And I also have a P.O. box and an Amazon link. <laughs> and you know, the Amazon link, I kind of have a kind of a rant with the Amazon thing. I was under the impression that you have the Amazon link and you tell people, hey, use my Amazon link and then, you know, I get a commission. It's a tiny bit of commission, but you know, someone with the big channel, it adds up. So anyway, I told family and friends to use it and it doesn't work. Well, I contacted Amazon and they said, oh, well, it's not for your friends and family to use. It's to bring in new Amazon customers. So tell me this, you think that anybody in the United States or most countries today, you know, are there people that have never used Amazon? I doubt it. So I don't know, that's just kind of strange. So now, you know, like I said, I told my friends and family to use it and it doesn't show up. So I'm not even sure if it works, but I have that link down there in the description of all the videos, just in case. Um, I'd like to see someone just use it and just let me know, hey, I did that. And you know, sometimes it's like a literally three pennies, you know, commission. It's not much, but just to keep it working would be nice if someone who doesn't know me as a friend friend or family member could use it, which is kind of strange. Oh, here's Sam. Their owner keeps calling him away and he's trying to smell the dogs, but he won't let him. Where's the dog? Oh, he's calling him over again. <laughs> Gemma. <laughs> what do you think, Gemma? They're tired. <laughs> I think they're ready to go. Okay, when I get home, I'm gonna show y'all what a viewer sent me. It's very exciting. Okay, y'all wanna see what my subscriber sent me? Dun, dun, dun. A GoPro camera. I got a GoPro 10. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. <laughs> I think way back when I did the video on Inks Lake and I was fumbling around with my iPhone. Well, someone sent me a GoPro. Isn't that nice? And they sent it anonymously. Very nice. I'm going to show you what else he sent. He sent the waterproof case, which allows you to go up to, I think, 90 feet. The GoPro can go, I think, up to 30 feet. 
if I'm not mistaken. And the waterproof case lets you go a lot deeper than that. And then also the instruction manual um, with all this accessory kit. And this is the accessories like, you know, you can strap it like on your chest and the front. So you have hands free with the camera and it has a little tripod. It has all kinds of little accessories. So that's really exciting. And then the battery charging box is neat because I've read that, well, you know how batteries do. They just, they go out quicker than you think they're going to go. And so this has extra, you know, two batteries extra. And then you can put the other one that you've used in there to charge it up, which is very, very nice. So thank you very much, subscriber. Anonymous, and I think I know who you are, but I'm not going to say. Thank you very much. And so y'all know, now I've got the Gmail set up. Also a P.O. box. And not that I'm asking you to send me anything, but I just want you to know that that's in the description. And I know, you know, they, they always tell us in like YouTube classes and things, oh, put all this stuff in the description. Like nobody reads a description, you know, but it, that, that's where a lot of the information is. So anyway, that's exciting. And hopefully, um, this is kind of a learning curve for me. It's going to be a learning curve because there's a lot to it. I was used to filming with my phone, and this phone is getting so old um, that it makes, cr you know, crickly noises. And y'all know I had those problems this summer with the noises. And so this, you know, is going to maybe alleviate, alleviate the, all that. I'm trying to get it to where I can film with the GoPro and then edit on my computer instead of all on my phone because this phone is just way too old. So thank you very much, subscriber. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I can start making better videos for you, and I will talk to you later.